marriage causes divorce. Michael Sartain said something like, a woman who will sleep with you on the first night is probably mentally ill or broken. <sighs> I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, look, I love Mike Sartain. He's a great guy. He's very intelligent. He's very perceptive. He's very analytical. But do I agree with that? I, no, I don't, I don't think so, no. Um, I would be interested in the context in which he said that. Um, I think, though, that it would be an exaggeration to say if people get the impression by watching these, you know, dating videos and watching online gurus and things that these guys are just getting, you know, women are having sex with them immediately. I would say that's a bit of an exaggeration. I think actually most women are probably going to want to wait a date or two because they want to make sure, you know, they firstly, they got to be sure that the, the they're safe with you. And secondly, you know, that the vibe's there, the attraction's there, and so on and so forth. And thirdly, they, they don't want to look slutty, you know? Like, most women want to at least maintain the appearance of being quite virtuous, okay? Um, so the issue is not, do you wait a date or two before you guys become intimate? I mean, that's not, that's fine. That's neither here nor there. The real issue is, is she making you wait for three months? And if she's making you wait for three months, Why? And is she also asking you to pay for things and take her for fancy dinners and stuff? Because if, if that's the case, then that is a, a problem, I would say. Um, and then Mary Sullivan says, not true. Um, And then marriage causes divorce says being single is better than sharing a high value man, which is better than being a low value man. So the worst thing is being with a low value man. Yes, I would agree. And then Mary Sullivan says being being single is better than sharing. Uh, Mary Sullivan says exactly. These manosphere guys always forget women have standards and would prefer to be single. Okay. And then Half Naked says, sometimes high value doesn't necessarily mean a girl decided to sleep with him quick. True. Um, and then women say they want an interesting, intelligent guy. She just implies a beta male who can be easily controllable down the road. Well, I think you can be interesting and intelligent and you can also be an alpha or you can also be let's not put it like that let's say you can be the lover rather than the provider okay maybe that's a different way of putting it you can you can still be the kind of exciting fast sex lover type dude and be interesting and intelligent i mean i don't think intelligence in itself is a super attractive trait i mean i think it it it, it, it Social intelligence and the ability to be interesting when you talk and the ability to be engaging and to bring her in and to think of cool things to say, that's attractive. I don't think, you know, a PhD in computer science or physics or something is particularly attractive, okay, to most women. I mean, she might think it's cool. She might admire that, but it's not necessarily going to get her wet, okay? So um, I think intelligence gets overplayed. But if you have intelligence whereby you are able to be impressive in a conversation, you're impressive on the date, you can entertain her, you can draw her into your world, then that's a good thing. Um, if a woman sleeps with you quick, I think she's just insecure, just chasing attention and validation. Not necessarily. I wouldn't agree with that. I think that's a little bit judgmental. Maybe she just likes you. Maybe she's just horny. Um it, so Mary says, we have plenty of experience and it is nonsense that women want a cheater. Well, you say that, but, you know, the dating app data shows that women find the majority of men unattractive, okay? Women are only looking really at a certain percentile of men. Now, I know, now look, okay, in the real world, getting out, getting off the internet, getting away from the dating apps, I ag agree that the picture is somewhat different, okay? Um, it's not the case that the only people that are getting laid in London are these multimillionaire kind of six foot seven chads with uh, sculpted jawlines and 12-pack uh, abs. That That's, of course, not the case. I do accept that. However, um, it does appear that, you know, women are increasingly targeting guys who are 
of higher value. And when you look at all these interview shows and podcasts and things like that, and they actually interview women and talk to real women, that is confirmed. You know, women are looking for, you know, really status, decent looks, um, height, you know, all of these different things. And um, there are so many situationships that happen in the modern world, okay? And we know that situationships are not monogamous. So I think what's happening is that women aren't going out there and saying consciously or verbally, yes, I'll, I, I'm happy to go with a cheater, right? Nobody, Nobody's saying that. Nobody's even thinking that. I don't believe most women are thinking that. But I think on some subconscious level, women will go into those situations because they find the guy hot. You know, I mean, it, it, it's quite simple, really. It's not that she's, she's with the super hot guy. She's bagged a date with this dude and he's like a Chad. He's got it going on, whatever. And she's attracted to him, right? She wants to, to get intimate with him, okay? Now, in the back of her mind, there might be the thought, oh, I bet this guy's a bit of a player. I bet he plays around, blah, blah, blah. Often, she just ends up and goes ahead anyway, okay? Because the desire outweighs. So it's not as simple as, yeah, you're right. I mean, she's not saying, hmm, this guy's clearly a cheater, but uh, that makes me want to sleep with him and engage in a relationship with him. No, she's not thinking that at all. She, if anything, she's probably thinking, oh, hopefully I can, you know, I can change him or hopefully he will realize how great I am and then, you know, that. Or, or she's just putting it out of her mind. But I think tacitly, women are accepting uh, men who are non-monogamous because women are targeting men in a higher group. And men in the, that higher group often by just just by nature are going to be non-monogamous because they have more options okay that's my perception anyway broken low quality women will put up with a cheater yeah that's true it's one you want to do with a b with who'd be cool with cheating uh, well look i mean there's shades of gray here though guys isn't there i think i think what you're you're looking at in a very obvious way where it's all out in the open she's completely aware he's a cheater she's like yeah i'm happy to be in a relationship with a cheater i mean uh, yes you're right 99.9 percent .9 of women are never going to say that they're never going to admit to that but i'm not talking about it being this overt on the table thing that everyone's agreed to what i'm talking about is in reality we know that women will frequently forgive guys who have cheated on them okay because whatever it is about that guy that is attractive, that's made her want to be with him, that is, is sufficient that it over, you know, it over, it overrides the fact that he may have cheated. Okay, if a girl who say a girl comes from a small provincial town, small background, whatever, she goes to the big city, she goes to Miami, she goes to London, she bags a date with this super high value dude. He's good looking, he's rich, he's got an amazing car, he travels, he stays in the best hotels, he's got, he has a fucking great lifestyle, and he's sexy, he goes to the gym, he works out, he's in fucking great shape. Do you really think that she's going to pass up dating that dude? Because occasionally in the background, maybe a little indiscretion happens here or there. Fuck no. Of course not. You know, women aren't stupid. I mean, women know when they meet the dude who, who is of that caliber, they know that that guy has options and they know male nature. They know that probably from time to time he might act out on that. It's about tacit acceptance. It's not about an overt contract. It's about what happens under the surface. Um, in my experience, a girl who sleeps too quick will be prone to just one, one night stand because she cannot rationalize what she has done. Uh, that's the sad reality of being a player. I... But if he waits until third date, he probably wouldn't see her again because high quality girl gets into a relationship quickly. Don't disagree. High value men are rare, but outside of hookup culture, no woman wants to share a husband. Well, yeah, look, I, I, I don't disagree. I don't think there are many women out there who are going, oh, I just want to marry this guy and he's going to fuck other women. I, I don't think I don't think women are consciously thinking that or would or would express desire for that. Of course, of course, I agree. What I'm saying, though, is that in reality, what's happening out there? You know, and in reality, we're not we're not saying women consciously and verbosely will will, will will go out there and shout from the rooftops. I want to find a guy who's going to cheat on me in marriage. But in the end, a lot of women do end up putting up with that as part of the deal. 
okay? Because again, you've got to look at what is the what is the toss up here, right? You know, okay, super super guy, guy who's super high value in all the in all of these different aspects, or a guy who's sort of mediocre, but he's going to be super faithful, right? And 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 put it this way, right? Here's another thing: even if she does select for the other guy who's going to be super faithful, because really he hasn't got the options to do anything else, is she actually going to be happy with that dude long term? Probably not, right? Almost certainly not. Because he's not really lighting her fire, okay? So even women who do resist this and say, no, that's not what I want, I'm going to go the other way, blah, 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 they often don't end up in a great situation either. So often it's these women who effectively turn a blind eye to the car. I mean, look, this, this has been a huge thing for centuries, okay? You know, you think we often talk, in England, we often talk about French culture and French society, and we'll say, you know, the French idea of marriage is basically, well, they're married, she is, she's at the top of the pinnacle, she is the queen, but occasionally, you know, he might have the odd little dalliance here and there. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't take away from the way that he feels about her, for the love that he shares with her for the experience of life that he has with her. You know, they are the main couple, all right? But guys are going to be guys, okay? Now, not every woman, of course, is going to accept that, and most women probably wouldn't knowingly or overtly sign up for that, but that doesn't mean it isn't happening, okay? Because you've got to look at, okay, what's the ideal? What's the, what, what, it, what do people say on the surface, and then how do they actually act? I think that's the, the point of contention here. Um, Vaughan Williams, the composer, is here. He says, uh, once I did a computer course when I'm in a very thick, do you mean thick or stupid, um, 30s woman who was obviously targeting a rich computer guy. Yeah, fair enough. Um, SJ says, oh, Troy, are you the only red pill guy that goes out? I see most are married and very negative about it for some reason. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I go out, I date, I travel around, I do all of that stuff. I mean, there's, there's a kind of a... I came from a sort of dating coach background. I've come from a game background, pickup artist background, whatever you want to call it, right? Which was all about taking action and actually going out there and doing it. And then you've got this other side of things, which is the RP side, which is more of the theoretical side. I mean, Rollo talks about it, actually. He says, my work explains what happens under the bonnet in the car. Whereas the dating guys, you know, they, they go out and drive the car. He's the guy who kind of understands the mechanics of it. All right. So there's a sort of a there's kind of two sides to the coin, if you like. And I'm a little bit more towards the side of action, trumping, sitting around and talking about this stuff online. Okay even though I do now sit around and talk about this stuff online. But yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I get out there and I, I see this stuff happening for real. And also I coach guys, okay? We coach guys. We coach hundreds of thousands of guys all over the world. So we've got a pretty good idea. We've got a very good idea, actually, of what's going on, not just in the West, not just in London, not just in the States, but also in, you know, across the world. So yeah, absolutely. Um, do other people in the space go out? Um I mean, a lot of the sort of the big names who do podcasts, I mean, I mean, Myron certainly used to go out a lot. I think that he goes out less now because of his, you know, he's well known and also he's extremely busy. Um, but uh, yeah, certainly that there are other people who are more like armchair theorists. But I do think that actually going out there and living it is, is very important as well. Um so Ben Lake and hi Ben says any point of view from game theory R versus K selection perspective I think R versus K selection is is kind of bollocks to be honest um, I don't I don't take it very seriously I think it's you know I, I think all women operate the same really I don't think there's some fundamental difference between between women I think there can be you know at different points in their lives they may act differently but I, I think the I think the, the theory is massively overplayed and is, is kind of nonsense um, in this context um high value women will be way too offended if their partner cheats 
Well, I mean, well, how are you defining high value? What does that even mean? Um, women will not be happy either way. Not happy with a high value cheater and not happy with a low value nice guy. That's probably true. <laughs> that's probably true. And that's not just true of women. That's true of, of, of all of us. Because I think in the end, you know, in the end, you always kind of want the thing that you haven't got, you know? Um so yeah i think i think that's there's probably some some wisdom in that comment um sure it's happening in hookup culture just not in marriage like i mentioned well i don't know the answer is pre-selection women women is very competitive and they always choose what is best for them and nothing else they want the best male if a woman is looking for these attributes that troy says she is looking for in a high value man i am not interested in her Troy says, uh troy mary says troy is one of the good ones thank you mary appreciate you for coming on here as well and watching um and then sj says to be honest i think you have the most insight especially 2024 given your real world experience and versus not having been out since the msn or myspace <laughs> era yeah 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 absolutely yeah i've still got myspace so i got asked the girl have you got instagram no oh myspace uh, 